you. I would say, you know, Pete, I can see you playing a, a corporate guy. I can see you playing, I love you in that Frank Galvin role. I love you. That's a role you can grow into. Pete Koch, hey. breaking it down. We're already breaking we, we it are, down. Yeah, we're deep into acting theory. Here. I'm with Paul Bond. <laughs> if you've ever thought about nice to meet you. acting, getting serious about acting as a profession yeah, it's, and uh, a passion, yeah. and maybe you don't live in L.A. or New York and you wonder uh -huh. what it takes to get here. Yeah. Uh, we're going to discuss that. We're going to break it down. Paul Bond, hang on. Pete Koch here, breaking it down with Paul Bond. How are you? Yeah, good to see you. You know, Paul, we've just, Paul's an old friend of mine, by the way, and we discuss acting. We're passionate about it and also the pragmatic part of right. acting, right? They practical call us side. the practical side. They call us show business, right? It's not show hobby, show. Right. It's bit for a reason. Definitely. Uh, in your mind, folks aspiring to to make this a profession, what are, you know, if you could just kind of tick off a couple of things on the list to make sure we're all on the same, you know, what, what have you gone through to become a professional actor? Well, I, I think that when you mention the word business, I think that the one the one thing in any kind of business is you're you're selling a commodity, right? If, you know, it doesn't have to be a show business. It, it could be you you could be selling a corn or whatever wheat, but you have to know what are you offering the market. Well, th this is Paul Bond yeah. Inc. Paul Bond Inc. Yes, that's <laughs> <laughs> it exactly is. it is. And you are the CEO of your own company, right? And what is the product you're selling? So in my case, I'm selling like a middle aged guy. Uh, who can play a dad, who can play a frustrated middle management type. Uh, he might be the high school principal. You know, vastly different from what you're selling, for example. You know, we're going to be cast in very different ways. So it's important for both of us and all of you there to, you know, that are watching to decide what is it that I bring? What, what can I sell? What do I have of value that would make somebody want to hire me for a job? So I think that's the first decision you have to make. Since I've known you, yeah. I've seen you beard, right. no beard, right. for a long time. Right. The hair was longer, hair was shorter. Now you got the beard back. Yeah, you know, it, it, I, you know, the facial hair is something that for me it, it gives me a little more range. But but by and large, it's not going to shift my type dramatically. Okay. I think uh, I think in your case, it might take you from a corporate guy to to like a warrior. You know, if we put a beard on you, you're going to be suddenly in Game of Thrones and very convincing, playing all those great roles that we would all love to play. <laughs> But for me, it, it just it just makes me a little rougher around the edges. Yeah, so yeah. so if I shave it off uh, with the glasses, I'm more buttoned down CEO, the guy that might be sort of you know uh, one deal away from a heart attack, you know that kind of thing. But if I have the beard, it, it loosens me up a bit. If I take the glasses off, suddenly I'm a guy that you know could be at the bar. So I think that that's uh, the important thing right out of the gate is to decide what are you selling. And I think I just sort of laid it out. For me, you should really have a mission statement, and you have to decide <clears throat> what am I bringing to the table. And then once, once you make that decision, it's incumbent upon you to, to have the resources and materials at hand to promote that business. So, you know, in our business, Pete, the most important thing, first of all, is the headshot. Yeah. You, know, you want to have a headshot that, that looks like you so that if a casting director gets that headshot, you know, it does, we don't want something from when I'm 25. I mean, I didn't look that much better. <laughs> I looked a little better. But if I send a picture from 20 years ago and I show up now, they're like, well, this isn't the guy we wanted to see. Right? Headshot's really important. Yeah. Resume's important. Very important. You and I talk all the time about things like this, developing your resume. For, for folks that don't have the uh, professional acting work on, right. you know, to, to list on their resume, there's, how do, oh. how, how do, you, get, how do you get that resume started? Oh, right. Well, you have to start where you're at. So first of all, you know, wherever you're living, whether you're in, in Los Angeles or Omaha, Nebraska, or Kathmandu, the first thing is you find out where is the acting going on? Where are the opportunities? Uh, you know, I could probably throw a stone from here and hit some sort of a, a theater workshop, perhaps, a, a community theater that might be casting something. I think you can't go wrong starting off on stage, getting some experience. And at no time is that a lesser option. I mean, for example, folks, we, Paul and I met in an acting class. It was a, a Meisner theory good class uh, coached by uh, uh, John Lacey. Good friend of mine. A good friend and a, a heck of an actor and, uh, and a coach. From there, 
it turns out that John Lacey, and it goes this way sometimes, yeah. he wrote a script. He did. And he had a vision to turn this into a series, but before he could get this to network, it was, right. we go the route of the, the web series. Right, it's a developmental process. So that's the great opportunity that you have. So it turns out that Paul and I are, are cast in this web series, The Reveal, and you can go see that at the, that's The Reveal. Uh, the Reveal uh, series. Series. com. Yep. Uh, we're also on StreamFeed now, which is uh, StreamFeed.com, and we, we're hosted on that website as well. And uh, this, I'm proud to report yeah, uh, this, this show's been uh, nominated for... We're, um, we're on the, the 12th festival uh, acceptance so far. We just heard about uh, Albuquerque. So that's 12 festivals that have decided this is a, a promising web series. So, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take that and circle it back around. So Paul and I meet in an acting class, which leads to being cast in a web series, which right. has now been nominated and, uh, right. for awards in 19 different right. festivals. And in the process, we had a chance to learn and grow as actors and also, you know, expand our network. Absolutely, and that's a key word. Uh, it's a business word, networking. You're meeting other people that are, we have like-minded goals in mind and we help each other by uh, supporting each other, you know, quite often. I'll see stuff in the breakdowns. And for those of you that may not know, the breakdowns are, um, it's basically a, a source of information that, that uh, acting direct, or pardon me, casting directors and actors use to uh, discuss projects. It will sort of list the characters. And quite often I'll see characters that, that you know, I would love to play, but I know that I'm not right physically to play them. Uh, it might be something that Pete would be great for, and, and then I'll give you a call and say, yeah, he does. have your agent look at this. And, and I think that's a great way we can uh, serve each other. Uh, we can also serve the casting community because if I recommend Pete for a role and he goes in and books it, that looks very good, it reflects back on me as an actor because you're being generous in spirit and helping other people do their job as well. Generous. So it's back to that networking, yep. which is very key. I think this is so important, folks, that are aspiring to, to act, to get into the business, or, you know, even for the folks that are just kind of wondering how it works. It's not, yeah. this is the not so glamorous part yeah. of it, but the yeah. really important, again, of the business of show that we're in. I uh, love this conversation, yeah. Paul. Always good catching up with you. Good to catch up with you. Yeah. We'll thank break... you so much for having me. Oh, my pleasure. We're breaking it down here, and uh, we'll see you again soon. Take care.